Hi, it's Michael Sinoff with Michael Sinoff's HardToFindSeminars.com. The title of this interview is called The Story About a High School Student in His Hunt to Create the Perfect Online Product. Even though Eric Lee is just in high school, he already knows he wants to create audio products to sell on websites like ClickBank. He studied many business models and has a good idea on how to begin, but he's still not sure what niche to pick or how he'll be able to convince experts to be interviewed once he picks one. So he's come to me for advice and on the best ways to create and market audio products. Like I told Eric, it's actually a good thing he hasn't picked a niche yet because that's the most important step. You can create the best selling product in the world and still not make money if there's no demand for it. So we discuss what makes a great niche product and some examples that might work for him. We also talk about a word for word method for getting experts to say yes to interviews, even if you're just starting out and don't have much publicity to offer. You'll learn little known shortcuts to succeed that involve licensing the rights to other people's interviews and running with them. You'll learn exactly what to say before an interview that will make sure you own the rights to it, even if an expert is hesitant, and what to do if someone demands you stop selling an interview. You'll learn ways to make the most of ClickBank, like how to sell your stuff on the back end of an already best-selling product. You'll learn how to get over the fear of failure and start making money today. When it comes to online marketing, there are a lot of mountains to climb before you can really enjoy the view, but the experience and knowledge you get along the way makes it worth the challenge every time. Fortunately, there are shortcuts and strategies that will make things a lot easier, and in this audio, you'll hear all about them. All right, so I'm talking to Eric Lee. These questions you sent me, they're in order from most important to least. I know you have covered some of these topics before in the other audios, but would like to further elaborate or expand on what I've already listened to in the other audios you have out there. What is the best method you have discovered to get high yes rates from experts? I know you've said to just ask, but there's a fear there for many people like myself who don't really know what to offer and how to go about positioning themselves as the one doing the expert a favor, especially if you are just starting out with no list, no credibility, no real means to offer except for the possible publicity. Do you happen to have some kind of template or method that you go about doing this? Well, let me ask you this. Just tell me in a nutshell, and even just for the interview, what is it you want to do? What are you trying to do? Well, I would like to start creating audio products that I can release either on ClickBank or some kind of merchant site and sell that to people who are in need of that kind of service. All right. Do you have any idea of what market or what type of interviews, what the subject matter would be, or are you just open to it? I'm just open to anything, to be honest. Okay. So you're not sure yet. Okay. Well, I think you've got to consider that first. What is the niche you're going to go into? And is the niche market a niche with lots of people? Is it a big market? And are these people passionate about something? So, for instance, it could be the golf niche. I don't know. Do you play golf by any chance? No, I don't. All right. But I know a lot of people who do. And they're nuts, right? Right. Okay, they are passionate. That's an example of a real passionate niche market. And there's a lot of people who market in that niche. It's like there's a lot of people who fish. If you use the analogy, if you're going to go fishing, you go fish where the fish are. And there's a lot of fish in that market, and there's a lot of fishermen in that market dipping into that market because it's a hungry school of fish, you know. I like to use that analogy because everyone can relate to that. If you're going to go to a lake and you're going to go fishing where there's no fish, what's the point? You could have the best damn interview, the best product in the entire world. If there's no fish, they're not going to be biting on what you're fishing for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's kind of good that you haven't made up your mind because this is going to be the most important decision you make. What? What market am I going to go into? What type of experts am I going to interview? And you may want to consider the golf market. I just got off the phone with another consult, and he couldn't decide on two markets. He was either going to do the diet and weight loss market, or he was going to do the muscle building market, okay? The muscle building market and the diet markets are both humongous markets, huge. Well, the diet market is a lot huger than the muscle building, but the muscle building market, even though it's a niche market, is very ravenous. Did you ever work out with weights by any chance? Yes. All the time, actually. All right, so you still work out? 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't work out with weights now, but I used to. And, you know, you just want to get big, and you want to get as big as you can as fast as possible, right? Right. You're looking for any solution, anything that will give you an angle or an edge or to make it go faster or to get more gains quicker because you know how much work you put into when you're pumping iron. Let me ask you this. As a guy who works out, did you ever subscribe to any of the muscle magazines? No, but I sign on the newsletters online. Okay, so you get on the newsletters, you read their stuff? Mm Mm-hmm. Do you take protein powder? Yes. How much money have you spent in your quest to gain muscle, like, you know, since you started working out? How long have you been working out? Since the summer, so good six, seven months or so. Supplement-wise, a good bit of money I put into it. You're buying supplements? Yeah, Cellucor and wheat protein powder and all that kind of good stuff, multivitamins. Did you buy it from any online marketers? Did you just go to GNC or something? Been to GNC and a website, bodybuilding.com. They have a little store in there that sells a bunch of stuff. Okay, so that wasn't hard for them, was it? Not at all. Okay, there's a perfect example right there. You really need to give it some thought. What market do you want to go into? And there's probably room for you. There's room for other guys out there doing interviews with muscle building experts or bodybuilding because there's always a new crop of people getting into bodybuilding. I mean, I just know when I was working out, you know, you go in there, you're working out four or five times a week, and, you know, it takes a long time for someone to see any gain. I guess it depends on what your body type is. I had the ability to kind of put on muscle pretty quickly just the way I'm built. But there's a lot of people who are very thin, and it's very hard, and it's frustrating, and they want to be bigger. And, you know, if you can get to those guys and give them some good information, even outside of the Internet, you don't have to only go through the Internet. But let's say you duplicated a bunch of CDs and you dropped them off at some of the gyms in your area, or you had a CD with a link to your website website where they could download it and put it on their mp3s and listen to this stuff while they're working out i mean you could start building a relationship with these guys but that's just an example you got to think about your market it's got to be hungry and it's got to be ravenous it's the most important thing you can think of and i kind of sound like a hypocrite because my market it's not nearly as huge as like the diet market i mean i'm selling personal development stuff it's a very small market I am selling business opportunity stuff, which is a pretty big market, but I should have listened to my own advice before I got started five or ten years ago, and maybe I would have made a lot more money. But I like what I'm doing. But I'm just telling you, you need to really consider your market, okay? All right. All right. Let's use that as an example. Let's say you want to be in the muscle building market. You know, how could I approach experts and get interviews? you got to have something up online. So you have to have a website. And you come up with the name of your website. You can call it the world's largest resource for online interviews with muscle building experts, okay? You're going to have to struggle maybe to get that first one. It doesn't even have to be a big name. Okay, personal trainers, right? There's tons of personal trainers around who are doing personal training. They're not making that much money. What you can do is you can approach these guys, and they have a lot of knowledge and a lot of credibility. They've been working with people, whether it's in the gym or outside of the gym, and these guys would love to be interviewed. So if you approach them and say, hey, I've got this website. It's going to be the world's largest website for muscle building information. I'd like to feature you on the website. Would you allow me to do an interview? And here's what's in it for you. Because I'm just getting started, doesn't mean I'm going to get you out to millions of people right now, but the interview will be hosted on my site, and after I do the interview, I will edit it, and I will give you a master of the interview so you can use that to sell your personal training services. Sounds like a great deal. You're going to do all the production. You're going to do all the editing. You're going to interview him. You're going to come up with the questions. And then in trade for that, he is going to give you the rights to use that interview any way you want. You can put it up on your site. You can have transcripts made to it. Maybe down the road, once you get another 10 or 15 interviews, you can package it with other muscle building experts. Hi, it's Michael Sinoff with HardToFindSeminars.com. Thanks for watching this video. You know, many of my interviews last 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour, sometimes even up to two and a half hours long. They're actual mini seminars, and you've just listened to a short sample of just one of over 117 hours of exciting, hard-hitting, mind-blowing interviews on how to make money in direct mail, advertising, copywriting. I assure you, there is not a resource any 
anywhere on the Internet or on the planet that comes close to the free information I provide at hardtofindseminars.com. So go right now to hardtofindseminars.com, and you'll have free access to 117 hours of audio interviews with typed word-for-word downloadable transcripts and downloadable MP3 files. Please browse some more of the videos or go right directly to hardtofindseminars.com. Thanks for watching.